Okra. Hope you all enjoyed my recap breakdown of Season 1, Episode 13, Fire and Water. Like I say, I really enjoyed this episode because it's where we first see Daniel take the spotlight for once in Season 1. And it's nice to see that side of him. It's nice to see the, his professionalism and his acting skills when he's put through pain by Oanaz and... And yeah, it's just amazing in his, in his frustration. It's also nice to see the emotional side of it from the remaining team team members, Sam, Jack and Tilk, where they can't seem to cope with the loss of him. And I think that's just great because there is moments in that that make me feel a little bit teary-eyed when you watch it because when don't forget when this episode first aired, nobody knew what was going on in the next episode after. So I can imagine right at that moment when it was aired live, and no one knew, like I say, what the next episode was about. I can imagine it being quite emotional because you were thinking, what? Jackson dead? He can't be. He can't be dead this far in. But obviously then we learn a bit further on. So this is what I like about Stargate as well, is that if you're watching this for the first time, you don't expect these, cur these curveballs to be thrown at you. And you do think up to a certain extent that he is dead. But then... And that he'll never return. But then obviously as the story unfolds, it then it's kind of like a relief but as my trusted companion um, I'll read a bit like I always do from Michael Shanks he said the thing I loved most was that fire and water had an entire emotional arc going on for me see that's exactly what I've just said as an actor those kinds of things are always going to be fun to play opportunities like that are few and far between the Stargate because it's mostly about our reactions to what we see rather than what we're put through. True, this is what I've said from the very beginning. You know, this is why I praise Stargate so much. This was one of the strongest experiences I've had within the course of the first season. See, told you this was his first spotlight moment. One of the things I remember thinking about very clearly is that actor-wise, you take a huge risk when you do that kind of episode. You put yourself right out there. You're talking to a guy in a prosthetic suit, trying to reason with him. The context we're talking about is so crazily broad it can be disconcerting. It's potentially very embarrassing to go in on, on the day and say to some guy in a rubber suit, what are we talking about and what are you moting about? It's so crazily fictitious. Fictitious, sorry, fictitious. Speaking of his performance, Shank says, It was just one of those things where I was young and naive and I think eager enough to completely throw myself into it and commit to the weakness, in t wackiness, sorry, complete. Commit to the wackiness entirely. Fortunately, Gerard Plunkett, who played Nem, so that was the name of the alien race creature, whatever you want to call him, that humanoid that took him hostage, was great and did so much through that suit. He's a fine, strong actor and the director, Alan Eastman, was also great to work with. He gave us free reign to do whatever we wanted. He only di directed one episode of Stargate, but my favourite director's cut was the one for that show. It was too long for them to keep everything in, but considering it was one of those shows that looked quite iffy on page, it turned out rather well. You know what, I really, really, I, I agree with that as well. And then from Brad Wright, this was another risky episode in season one, Brad Wright confirms. I knew Michael Shanks could deliver it in this difficult role, but every time you put your antagonist in a rubber suit, you better hope the actor pulls it off. I thought Gerard Plunkett did a tremendous job as Nem. I also enjoyed the matte painting at the water's edge. The scene was shot at a beach in Vancouver, so before the horizon was replaced, in post-production was with a gas giant, there were sailboats and skyscrapers. I didn't know that as well. That's how amazing that is. So that, yeah, this is, I love reading bits out of this um, that relate to the episode for you guys because I think it's just amazing just to learn these things and to get from the actors what they thought about the episode because Daniel Jackson was the main role player in this episode and this was his time to shine like he says in there you know he did a fantastic job and he worked at it and you know what I I agree with him in there so yeah like I said earlier look out for my weekly quiz question on Sunday and because I did my special video last week my next one won't be until next week but March is going as quick as anything, so soon we'll be into my other merchandise opening. So I'm looking forward to that for you guys. So please join me on an adventure through the gate. And let's go on an adventure. <laughs> Thank you, bye.